Okay, for our next video, we will install Radio Server. Radio Server is a service that runs on either Linux or Microsoft Server, which allows you to provide centralized login. For instance, this Cisco switch, okay, would need doesn't have any passwords on it, doesn't have any username authentications, okay, which is not good in a production environment. So Radius is actually a service that allows you to centrally create users and have them log into any device you wish. Um, devices would be uh, modems, DSLs, access points, VPN tunnels, etc. So a first step would be to go to Server Manager and to check if we have either um, Active Directory installed and Network Access Policy Server. Now for our domain um, Active Directory, we need to check if we have users. Okay, so um, I got the Cisco user here. Okay, I, I copy the existing user. Copy will be radius guy okay so radius guy would plug in to our cisco devices give this a semi-secure password i do not recommend you copying the administrator account because you would be given lots of access so this is the radius guy um, we would need the radius guy to log into our cisco device so your next step is to go to network access policy And we right click this one, go to policies, and we create a new policy. Okay, so name would be Cisco using radius. We go next. Conditions would be we grant access to Windows groups. Okay, uh, let's just use a default user group of the main admins. Can use any other group you wish. We go next. We grant them access. Now this one is a bit tricky. You need to remove all the authentication for okay and just leave an unencrypted authentication. We go next. Just click no here. Go next. Alright, so we need to edit this attributes. The first of which is the frame protocol. This should be removed. Secondly, let's edit this one. Change it from framed to login. Okay, because users are going to log in to Cisco. Just go in um, vendor specific. We need to add a new attribute that defines for Cisco. Now we want to give access, we want to give our Windows users level 15 access to Cisco so we need to add this command if you want to give access um, administer access to we need to type this in here as the attribute value okay with this um, value users will have all the access needed to configure Cisco so let me just type that in with dash level in equals 15 I got OK here press on OK and get close so it's login for the service type and vendor specific Cisco for the other attributes now go to encryption and make sure I remove everything go next leave no encryption do a review and click on finish notice that it's down here at the bottom just need to move that up one more okay a few things to check before we continue for the clients make sure that your Cisco switch is defined as a client okay so this is the IP address of our Cisco switch and the secret 
um, password would be you can use anything but it should reflect on Cisco for example on my switch I need to configure this set of commands yes this needs to be configured in a Cisco switch since our Cisco switch is that 12 and our server is that 23 let's set this at 23 okay to verify that one go to CMD make sure I ping my Cisco switch okay and I ping myself 23 okay so I just click OK now I go to my Cisco switch I type those in double check radius server VLAN 1 okay, this is good some copy place it here okay final testing would be since this only applies in Telnet we use Telnet to connect to our switch and log in as a radius user radius user Okay, notice that I got an error message because the name of the user is actually radius guy, not radius user. Password would be Cisco. Notice I was able to go in. Now, if I disable this username. Try to log in again. Again, so that shows that I'm actually having a Regis protocol running. Again, one more time, enable the account. And this time, I will try Wireshark to make sure that I get able to capture all the packets related to radius. Okay, so I type the radius. I go to wash, um, I go to logging in again. So name is radius guy. Password is would be the same. You notice that um, radius protocol has been captured. Okay, so it's just two packets. One is except on this request when it's accept okay and now I have been granted access to my Cisco switch so to summarize this is actually a two-step process on the Cisco side we configure this set of commands well this reflects our radio server and on the Microsoft side we will need to configure this one pointing to the Cisco side after which a network policy needs to be configured.